Okay. <laughs> you get some Starbucks? Uh, Dunkies. Oh, Dunkies. Dunkies. They didn't out. have iced coffee. How the fuck do you not have iced coffee in Dunkin' Donuts? Learn a language with What's up? What's up, everybody? What's up? Whoa. What's up? What's up, everybody? I'm trying to get this together. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to get this to stand. I'm to get this to stand. Oh, no, don't. Hold on, y'all. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, y'all? I hope y'all ready for what's going on today. I am in a new environment, but that is okay. That don't. I don't change the message um i got a lot of things to talk about a lot of things that i want to so first of all welcome everybody thank y'all for coming in i appreciate y'all so much for even being here um first of all happy sunday new week has begun i hope you're ready to chase all your dreams and to get even closer this week period right so first of all i want to say that i'm grateful for y'all being here we already got over 20 people here right check out the shirt y'all like it cool thank you all right so all my chosen ones you're here i want to let y'all know this is the time where you're being tested period i'm here straight to the point y'all are going to be getting tested Right now, I've already received my test, but guess what? I'm gonna let y'all know. I know y'all tired of getting tested, but this is the final test before your manifestation comes in. And how you react to this test is very important, trust me. And that's why I got on my mica and black tourmaline on because I'm protected, I'm protecting myself. You need to understand that if you have been reaching new heights and you have been aiming to go somewhere else, realize that a lot of the friends that you have, a lot of the family that you have will not be going with you. There is a split in consciousness happening right now, meaning that people who are awakened are leaving to a whole nother realm of consciousness frequency and people who are not awakened are staying at their base frequency. So that means that people who are not aligned with you, so sad and so, so, so sad and so disappointing, but they got to go, period. And I'm only letting you know what you need to hear. They got to go. People that you've been feeling iffy about, they got to go. People that you didn't, that you feel like aren't for you, they got to go. And trust me, if you are resonating with this message already, send it to your friends because they need to hear this. I'm giving you a message of what's going on right now. If there is anybody that can understand the energy of the universe right now and tell you what, what cycle and what, why we're going through it, it's me, period, period. And I'm here to tell you right now, you're going through a transitional phase. We've been going through a transitional phase since the Lionsgate portal, right? Since the Lionsgate portal, we have been going through a transitional phase. You can't say you want to manifest something and then not be prepared to sacrifice what will not work with your manifestation, period, right? And what I mean by that is you can't say, oh, you want to have your own house. You want to have your own business. You want to do this. You want to do that. But you're not willing to get rid of the people that are trying to hold you down. The people, your, your best friends, your closest friends, they can secretly hate on you. They can secretly dislike you. They can secretly hate what you're putting out into the universe. They can secretly despise you, despise you. So in this time now, don't be telling everybody your manifestations, bro, because you're going to start to see, yo, damn, bro, I really realized that nobody really for me like how I thought so. You're not for me like how I thought so. And that's because you're going to a new realm. You're going to a new realm and with a new realm comes new people. Realize that if these people around you not thinking like you, you got to go. You got to move. You got to go somewhere else and share this video. Share this live with people who you think need to hear it, bro. But y'all need to realize, bro, y'all be asking for some big manifestations, big manifestations. But don't be don't be willing to let go of the small things that are holding you back. Why is it that? Every single person that is starting to grow, like you watch all, I watch all these vlogs of these famous people, these celebrities, these, these rich people, these wealthy people. And they always say, you got to let go of those people that you was around because guess what? When you start to grow, when you start to grow and you start to get to a higher level of, of abundance and frequency, I'm telling you right now, they will start to hate on you. They will start to hate on you. 
They will not like what you do. They will start to, oh, how your little business doing? Oh, how you're this doing? Oh, how this going? How how your little, yeah. Because they don't want to see you succeed. They're going to shoot, say little small things to hurt your confidence. But guess what? That's because they're insecure. They're insecure and don't, don't be upset at them. Don't hate them. Don't, don't. Don't 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 be mad at them. Understand that they are only going based off of what they already have have seen in their life. Have seen in their life. You know what I'm saying? So understand that okay, when you get in higher levels of success, people will start to dislike you, right? And the reason why they will start to dislike you is because first they're going to think that you think that you're better than them, right? All because you're, they're, you're gonna they're gonna be like oh you think you're better than me because you did this and this and that understand that that's their project that's their projection that's their projection that's their projection when people see when people see people that they've grown with and that person is growing faster than them they get upset they get upset they get mad they get jealous. They get envious. You got to realize, yo, bro, like, I can't be around you. If if you're talking to people and you're trying to open their mind and they're like, like, uh, I don't know, like, mm, I don't know, I don't believe it. They just, they gaslight you. You got to leave them alone too. Leave them alone. When you hang out with somebody and you feel like, dang, this person for me. Dang, this person, I love this person. Dang, this person, this and this and that. That's the people that you need to be around. But when you get a, a feeling of like, oh, I don't know about that. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. What's up, bestie? Believe it. Trust me. It's going. You got to trust red flags the moment that they happen. The moment that somebody says something that's like off-putting, believe it and let them go. And remember, not every friend, not every friend needs to be your close friend. Not every friend you need to talk to every day. Some friends are meant to keep at a distance. Some family members are meant to keep at a distance. You know what I'm saying? And that's okay. That's okay. Not everybody you need to talk to every day. Because I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. Like, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. You got to understand that it's really just you. It's really just you. It's really just you. It's really just you. I'm telling you, it's really just you, period. Because at the end of the day, you're going to think somebody got your back, but really, it's only you that got your back. You know what I'm saying? It's only, it's only you. It's only you. It's only you that got your back. And when you realize that, you'll stop leaning on people. You will stop leaning on people. You will stop leaning on people. You will stop leaning on people. And that's an important thing. Because here, here's what it is. You, you, here's what I've realized is what cripples our manifestations a lot. We, we, I don't know why, but it's like we sit here and think like we can't create our own manifestations. We wait for other people's to, to get us there. Like, oh, this person is going to, this person is going to, they said they're going to put me on. This person said they're going to help me with my business. This person helped, said they was going to help me with my meditation. They said they was going to help me with this. Bro, don't count on it. Don't count on it. Just don't count on it. L listen, figure out how you can do it because I promise you, you can do it by yourself. Anything that you want to come into reality, you can make it happen by yourself, by yourself. All these other people want you to think that you can't do it by yourself, but you got the power to do it by yourself. You've done it before. You've made it happen before. You've made it happen before. You can only depend on you. Say it again. And make sure y'all go ahead and follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube because I put all my lives on YouTube. But yes, that's the point. You got to realize that, like, Think about it like this. On your way up, on your way up being that successful person that you are, that, that seven-figure person, that six-figure person, you got to realize that people will hate on you. People will dislike you. People will start to, um, like, just throw jabs at you. People go consistently try to make you feel small because you're doing big stuff. <laughs> and if they can't beat you, they're going to try to join you. 
And if they can't join you, they're going to try to beat you. Period. Period. So once I realized, like, dang, bro, like, when you start to get more and more successful, you become a target. You become a target. You become a target. Period. And I know every single person in here, especially if you resonate with this message, you are going to be very successful. But what I'm telling you is facts. The more successful you get, the more friends you will lose. Because guess what? You're going to start to see, oh, dang, you, you, you're not really happy for me. You only want me to be just as good as you are because it makes them uncomfortable to have somebody doing better than them, especially if y'all started at the same time. So they looking at you like, why I'm not up there? Why I'm not like you? Why I'm not there? And they don't realize that that's because you've been doing the work this whole time. People going to try to discredit your, your work too. They're going to try to make it seem like you got lucky or they're going to make it seem like you, you, yeah, bro, they project their insecurities on you. They project that on you and you got to realize like you got to really know yourself because people will try to try to try to make you feel small. People will try to make you feel like you ain't doing nothing. People try to make you feel like you ain't this, you ain't that. But you got to know yourself. You got to know how powerful you really are. You got to know why you got to know why you do what you do. You got to know who you are. You know what I'm saying? Because when you know who you are, you won't you won't. You won't ever let nobody, you won't ever let nobody talk to you no kind of way. Whoa, my phone, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get this right. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to let nobody talk to you no kind of way. Hold on, y'all, I'm trying to like, you're not going to let nobody talk to you no kind of way, bro. And it's about respect. It's about respect. It's about respect. You know what I'm saying? So focus on, focus on yourself. Focus on what can you do to get better, bro, because Watching other people's Instagram stories, reading other people's tweets, not going to help you. Not going to help you. Focus on you. Focus on how can I get better tomorrow? How can I get better today? How can I get a step closer? You know? How can I get a step closer? Because I know nobody's going to do this for me. Nobody's going to put me where I need to be. Only you can put you where you need to be. Because guess what? Only you can manifest it. And only you can do the action. Only you can do the action. And I'm telling you this all off of love and out of experience, bro. The moment you start to grow, people go, oh, you think you better than me. Oh, you think this. Oh, you think that. Oh, you you acted like this and this and that. And it's like, nah, bro. It's just when you reach. Then here's the thing. What, what Here's what people don't understand. When you are working on yourself and you are working to get somewhere, in order for you to be successful, you have to change. You have to be more disciplined. Meaning that, look, stick with me, stick with me, right? Because I'm about to explain why haters hate, okay? So if me and you grow, grew up in the same neighborhood, right? We was, we was running around the neighborhood together. We was chilling. We was doing all that stuff together, right? But then I decide, you know what? I want to get my life together. I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to go where I need to go. So you start learning about entrepreneurship and you're like, dang, I'm learning that in entrepreneurship. I need to be getting up like 6 a.m. working now. I can't be letting people waste my time. I can't be, you know what I'm saying? I got to be reading. So you know what happens? The friend that grew up with me and is used to hanging out comes knocking on my door. Doop, doop, doop. Yo, hey, you want to come play today? And I'm like, nah, bro, um, I'm working on this today. I'll talk to you later. They're like, oh, okay, you know. They're like, okay, cool. They're not there. They come the next day. Doo, doo, doo. Yo, 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 what's up? You heard about this and this and that? Dang, man, while I was outside, they started fighting this. And here you go. You, listen, bro, I'm not really trying to hear that right now. Like, I'm working on something. And then the person who called you with the gossip is going to be like, bro, you changing. Like, why are you acting like that? Like, like you know you used to, you know you used to trying to hold you back to where you used to be. Where you used to be. Instead of seeing like, yo, bro, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to grow. And I'm not trying to hear that. They're like, dang, bro, you don't even talk to me. Yeah, I don't talk to you because all you talk about is what other people are doing. You know what I'm saying? Like when people always trying to hit you with that, oh, you used to be like this. You used to do that. Exactly. I used to. If you in love with the old sticks, then... You better go go through your 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 memories on Snapchat or something because sticks old sticks ain't there no more. You know 
what I'm saying? And no, it's not about doing people dirty, but it's like, yo, bro, if you're not, like, like when, especially when y'all third eye open up and you hanging out with people and you like, like, think about it like this. Why, why everybody, why everybody want to act so like, like every, like you be like, oh, I'm vegan. They be like, oh, my bad. What's with all of that? Why when you be like, oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm vegan. They be like, oh, my bad. Their, their body language, their mindset is already, oh, oh she vegan. She thinks she better than everybody else. Right? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't drink, I don't drink that, that water bottle. Oh, you, 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 you too, you too much now. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, so me wanting better for myself or you wanting better for yourself is too much now. It's you being bougie or you doing too much. You know what I mean? And when you see those people for real switch up, you got to charge it to the game. And look, don't, don't argue. Don't sit here and be like, dang, bro, you really been, you ever since I've been trying to get better, you don't argue. It don't make no sense. <laughs> it don't make no sense. They're not going to understand you. Realize that once you raise your frequency, they are not able to understand you no matter how much you try to explain. They will not understand you. They will not understand you. The same way that our eyes are not able to see certain frequencies, when you get to that frequency, they will not be able to understand that frequency because they never vibrated at that frequency before. So don't expect people to understand you because you're trying to grow. They've never grown that far in their life. That's why it's important that when you are trying to go to a certain level, you need to be friends with people who are at that level. You know what I'm saying? Even then, people will sit here and like act funny with you because you're knowledgeable. Like, oh, don't don't let you be intellectual and they're going to try to make it seem like you a know-it-all. Like, my bad. I thought I learned knowledge so I could be able to share it with people. You know, but you got to understand that it's, it's, it's um, frequencies, but you got to understand that people are insecure people. They don't know why. So don't hate them. Don't be mad at them. They don't know. They've never been there before. So don't be mad at them. Just be like, you know what? I understand you've never been there before. So it may be hard for you to grasp or understand. That's fine. It just means that, you know, maybe it's time for us to separate and that's okay. That is okay. You got to realize that everybody coming to your life for a certain amount of time. Everybody coming to your life for a certain amount of time, period. And it's okay for you to outgrow people. Not everybody was supposed to be your friend all the way to the end of time. Because guess what? If they're not growing with you, you got to let them go, baby. Because guess what? They're only going to hold you back. They're going to hold you back. They're going to remind you where you came from and not remind you for where you're trying to go or show you where you're trying to go. If people get offended by your growth, they don't need to be in your life. If people get offended by your growth, they don't need to be in your life. And make sure y'all go and follow me on Instagram and go ahead and give me a subscribe on YouTube if this is resonating with you. I would really appreciate that for real. Because I'm seeing in my life, and use me as an example, because remember, I'm you. I'm you. Use me as an example because I'm you. When you start to become really successful, people will hate on you. Click the link in my bio and click YouTube. I also have a podcast. You can click the link in my bio, click podcast too. But listen, the more and more successful I get, the more and more people I cut off. But guess what? The more and more people I cut off, the more and more room that I let in for new people that resonate with my new frequency. You know what I mean? You got to realize that when you when you leave a certain frequency, you got to leave everything else that was in that frequency. My channel name is Styx River, but you can click the link in my bio to click my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for supporting, by the way. So, you know, really, really be tough with who you keep around you, because I'm telling you right now. Who you keep around you is very important. Imagine you're trying to tell, yo, what's up, man? Yeah, subscribe to the Patreon too. Subscribe to the Patreon. So when you realize that, okay, every time I level up, something has to go. Either this person has to go, either I got to leave this space. A lot of y'all been feeling like, yo, I got I to gotta move out this city. I got to move out this country. I got to move out of this. Yeah, 
That's because your energy, you're, 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 you're becoming too big for your fish tank. I'm so glad I could help you, Shine Fly One. But y'all growing, y'all, y'all are growing so fast. I, bro, I've, I've talked to so many of y'all, and I be hearing about y'all spiritual journey. Y'all are growing so fast. Don't let nobody stop you. Don't let nobody stunt your growth. Don't let nobody make you feel like you, 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 you doing too much. Because I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Y'all, y'all are so young. A lot of y'all are in y'all 20s. Some of y'all are older mothers too, and that's fine. But a lot of y'all are so young, and y'all are already grasping spirituality. That is very rare, and I want to tell y'all, I am so proud of y'all, for real. You're 44. You know people at your age don't even want to hear nothing else about spirituality. They don't want to hear nothing. Like, it's it's even more pre impressive for the older people. Because the older people have every right to be stuck in their ways. The older people have every right to be stuck in their way. Yet, they are looking at other ways that they can grow and learn. And that's why I'm proud of y'all, too. There's mothers out there. There's people's mothers out there, people's fathers out there who are not trying to hear none of that. But y'all are still learning and y'all are, are not closing yourself off. Y'all still want to grow. And that is that is something because y'all are able to teach the youth. Hey, you bought a wire wrap necklace before I could tell people on here because you know they sell out. You smart. You smart. You are getting me excited. Yeah, bro. Because that I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. Listen, man. Listen, man. I'm going to let y'all know right now, there is a lot of stuff that's about to start happening with this universe. When I tell you, like, when I tell you, yes, I do make jewelry. I have, uh, I have, I have wire wrap necklaces that I just dropped on my, on my crystal shop. Uh, I'm not even going to get in these too, too much right now, but cause I will get into these later, but I do have these on my crystal shop if you want to go check them out. But let me finish let me finish what i wanted to the let me finish the teaching first before we start talking about you know what i'm saying so here's one thing that i want to say okay please continue manifesting because this is the first time in my life that i've seen manifestations come in so fast so fast so shifting is real so what i want to tell you is please continue manifesting but don't tell people don't tell people your manifestations. Now, the reason why you don't want to tell people your manifestations is because people will give evil eye energy to your manifestations. People will try to like, oh, that's what you want to do. I mean, I guess like, you know, that's what you want to do. You know, like, no, no, I'm making a video about the list of books this week. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? So, but make sure, listen, listen. People will literally try to stop your manifestations from happening. You got to you got to confide in yourself, especially if you don't have a boyfriend or girlfriend or a partner where to get real crystal necklaces. Link in my bio, click crystal shop, link in my bio, click crystal shop. If you do not have a, a, a boyfriend, a partner or whatever to hold you down, then it's only you right now, bro. It's only you right now. And you got to like you got to focus on you to the T to the t like like it don't don't let nobody make you feel like you selfish and one thing i want to tell y'all is when you place your boundaries firmly when you place your boundaries firmly and you finally like stand on your boundaries people are gonna be like you hurt me you hurt me you hurt me you hurt me well that's a consequence to you not respecting my boundary because that's what people will do when you when you place your boundary people will start to play the victim role right somebody wants to get into your personal space you be like listen bro please move out my way please move out my way and they're like why you had to like dang bro you ain't have to do all of that like you really hurt my feelings like like you know what i'm saying and it's like well if you would have never been in my personal space when i expressed it to you then you wouldn't have gotten your feelings hurt but that's the truth People want to sit here and press your buttons and then want to play victim when you finally stand on your boundaries. Don't, 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 don't feed into that. 
Don't feed into that. People are manipulative. I'm tr trust me. People are manipulative. People will try to manipulate you. People will try to manipulate you. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? So when you realize, wow, people will like, listen, I love people. I really do. I love people. But you got to understand the lower vibe people, they don't know. So they will hurt you. They don't know. They will hurt you. You know what I'm saying? So you got to realize like, okay, cool. Like, like you got to have a protection over yourself. You got to have a protection over your spirit. If you ever watched Inception, the guy in Inception literally said, oh, I have a security system on my subconscious mind. You got to have the same thing. Meaning that people will try to like... People will literally tell you, oh, you're broke. You don't got no money. You don't got this. You don't got that. People will try to speak these words onto you. It's your choice if you allow them to be real. It's your choice if you, if you allow it to be your reality. But people will try to do that to you. People will try to, try to, and then you know what's crazy? When people get into it with you, the first thing that they're going to attack is your spirituality. They're going to be like, since you so spiritual, why you had to talk to me like that? Since you're so spiritual, why you had to do me like that? Since you're so spiritual, why you had to? And it's like, wow, you really chose to attack my spirituality? Out of all things? Out of all things, you chose to attack my spirituality? Right? And that's because they, they, they're, when you see people do that, that's because they're trying to hurt you. They're trying to hurt you. They're trying to hurt you. When you see people purposefully going out their way to try and hurt you, you know now you need to let them go. Because that's what they've been feeling all along. That's what they've been feeling all along. For real. That's what they've been feeling all along. And you got to believe them when they show you that. You got to believe them when they show you that. You gotta believe them. My bad, Joe. I'm trying to fix this. You know what I'm saying? So, hold on. So when people show you, oh, you think you all big and bad, or people, when people, when you get into it with people, when you get into it with people and they start to low blow you, that's when you know they're real colors. I remember I got into it with somebody and they subtweeted me. Some, some, they subtweeted about me personal stuff that I told them right you think I'm still you think I'm still messing with this person no no because guess what when things go and get tough or things go and get bad and we're not able to be friends to the point where it's like when we're on bad terms we're still not able to talk it out or not throw low blows at people you got to realize okay cool you're not you're not you're not for me you're not for me because I don't care how how dirt bad we are i'm not for to sit here and air your dirty laundry bro that's foul that's foul when people want to sit here and talk bad about you that's foul you gotta let them go you need to have listen let me let me let me tell you something right i'm gonna use money i mean you i mean I, look, think about this like a ticket right no let me do this let me do this right think about this let's i'm about to give you an example and make sure y'all share this live with somebody because what i'm about to say about to hit it's about to hit, okay? So, let's say, you know, let me use these, right? So, let's say you have a bus, right? And it's called your your bus. Your bus is where is where you're going. You're driving this bus all the way to where you want to be, right? Share this live. You're driving this bus to where you want to be, right? So, you have dreams to be super successful, to have a mansion, to have all these things, right? But you already know that on this bus, you can only have people that are for you, right? So my question to you is, if this bus is everybody that you're taking to the promised land, right? What are the requirements in order to get on your bus? And stick with me now, stick with me now. So my energy bus, let's call it Sticks', Sticks is bus, right? So everybody that's on my bus, everybody that's on my bus is going to come with me to my successful place, right? So, and don't worry about negative energy. If you are seeing negative energy, just put the evil eye emoji in the comments. That's all you got to do. Don't give them attention, okay? So 
this energy bus this is Styx's energy bus so what i'm saying is okay cool so in order for people this is your accessibility because not everybody needs to have access to you in order for people to get on my bus they have to be loyal right they have to be healing themselves or working on themselves right so healed right they have to be able to communicate right communication it's like if you're hiring what would you want on this person's resume in order for them to hire right so communication communication right maturity maturity right so this is my ticket right this is my ticket Oop, this is me kicking it this is my ticket so this means that nobody can be in my circle my close friends my nothing unless they have these qualities and this is the price of the ticket to get on my bus you need to write down your ticket price and figure out what does somebody have to have or what do they need or what what must they pay for in order to be in your energy because you got to understand you're not no regular person <laughs> you're not a not a regular person you're not a regular person right i understand i'm not a regular person i understand that my energy is able to manifest for other people i two 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 i understand that i'm able to help people awaken all of these things right so when you see what you're able to do for other people you gotta put a price on that my love especially if you're an empath especially if you're a healer you gotta put a price you gotta put a price not a boogie you gotta put a price right because if you don't have this price and if you have your price too low, you're going to have people on your bus who are not going to be for you. They're going to be putting extra weight on this bus. They're going to be they're going to be trying to bring your bus down. They're going to put a flat tire in your bus and guess what? Your bus is not going to your bus is not going to be able to move fast enough. Why? Because you got people weighing it down. Somebody said, what's on my, what, what's my ticket price? Well, this is just an example, but right here I have loyalty. You got to be healing yourself or already healed. You got to be having a great communication skill. You got to be able to be mature, meaning that if we have an issue, you got to be able to connect to me and talk to me and tell me, hey, Sticks, I didn't like what you said right here. What, like, can you, can, can we talk about it? If you cannot do that with me, we cannot be friends. You can't have a ticket. You can't. You can't. You want to know why you can't have a ticket? Because you got to think about it like this. It's chess. Look at people and say, in the long run, will you eventually hold me down? Like, look at people and look at their habits and look at the behaviors. Look at what they value. And ask yourself, will this person literally hold me down while I'm trying to grow? Or will this person help me grow? Huh? What will they do? What will they do? Yeah, it's okay to have an empty bus, but guess what? That bus is that bus is just you. It's gonna move so fast. It's gonna move so fast because it's not a lot of weight. It's not a lot of weight. I'm glad to be there for you. Um, a a a, a sailor, a Kayla, whatever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to butcher your name, but I'm I'm glad that you're able to resonate with this, right? And that's okay to have your bus empty. But look, I want to let y'all know. Don't let nobody think that, oh, you know what? I'm, I don't got no friends. I ain't going to have no friends. Understand. If you want, if listen, if y'all want to have real conversations with me, DM me on Instagram and ask me for the Discord. Because the Discord is where I have all my spiritual community. And they ask me questions. We talk and all these things. I know a lot of y'all want to talk. So DM me on Instagram and ask me for the Discord link. Discord is a basically a big group chat. And in my Discord, I have spiritual resources. I have a channel with spiritual resources where I drop links and videos to what I'm watching or books and stuff like that. So DM me because, listen, I'm letting y'all know now. We are going to grow. If you're for me, we're going to grow. What if I don't have Instagram? I do have Discord, though. Then just DM me on TikTok, and we, I'm going to give you the link, right? But make sure y'all join in the Patreon, too. A lot of things a lot of things that I try to talk about here on, on TikTok, they don't allow me to teach on here because they, they ban me, right? So I think somebody just put the Discord link in there. So 
what I want you to do is join the Patreon, the link in my bio, because I talk about a lot of things such as celebrities who sold their soul. I talk a lot about stuff like that or like secret societies, you know what I'm saying? Or, or the shot, you know what I'm saying? I talk about those things on my Patreon, the things that will get people banned on here. And the reason why is because I'm not going to, I'm not going to, somebody said how much it costs, $5, bro. And, and I'm not telling you, you got to get it. You don't got to get it. You could join the discord. The discord is free and you could talk to us. And I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, bro, listen, bro, I've tried, I've tried to sit here and teach all these things for free on here and they banned me. They tried to ban me. So, you know what I'm saying? I know, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. You know, so also I wanted to talk to y'all about um, crystals. I have a crystal shop that y'all can go ahead and support in the link in the bio crystal shop. This is Black Tourmaline for any impact out there. Exactly. Be careful of spiritual warfare for any impact out there. You need to protect yourself. How do you know if my crystals are real? Um, usually you can tell by the weight and you can tell about the color. Right. But one thing I can tell you is all my crystals are ethically sourced and they are 100 percent real. Right. So this one is Black Tourmaline. Um, quartz, meaning that this has clear quartz in this crystal too, right? So go ahead and click the link in my bio. And one thing I will tell you is, and y'all can believe me if you don't want to, it's okay. But what I'm gonna tell you is these crystals sell out very fast. So by the time you go check it out, if you don't go check it out now, they're going to sell out. I could, I couldn't even get on live and talk about the crystals yet. And they already started getting the crystals. I couldn't even, you know what I'm saying? Talk about them. So if anybody is also, yeah, these crystals are cold. These crystals are cold. These are real crystals. No, for real, tell them these crystals be selling out. The last time I was on live, they was like, oh, I'm going to go get them. They start checking out. And by the time they check out, it says this crystal has been sold out. So look, let me tell you, this one is Tiger's Eye. I only have one more of these. This is the only one I have. This is Tiger's Eye, right? This is Black Tourmaline. Now, let me tell you what they do. Let me tell you what they do because don't go getting crystals because, oh my God, they're so cute. No, 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 Yeah, you said it. Look, Deontay, you know what's up. You know what's up. You joined the tech notifications. Okay, so listen, let me tell you what they do because I don't want y'all to just get crystals because they're cute. No, 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 no. I'm going to keep it a buck with you and I'm going to let you know what you need. Okay, so y'all need to know, y'all need to know that first of all, you need protection right now. I don't give a f what nobody says. You need, this is why I'm wearing this crystal. This crystal has black tourmaline in it, right? So this is black tourmaline quartz. No, it's not voodoo. This is black tourmaline quartz, meaning that if you can see it right in that corner, you can see the clear quartz in that. So clear quartz is an amplifier. So clear quartz being with black tourmaline is amplifying that energy, right? So what is see? They're already, I'm telling y'all, they're why y'all they're buying the crystals. So black tourmaline is very good for protection. Y'all need to understand because we are in a period of transitioning, right? You gotta understand that because we are in a period of transitioning. I do have crystal earrings. I do have crystal earrings. But because we are in a period of transitioning, these lower entities are trying to keep you at a lower vibration. Because if they keep you at a lower vibration, they can continue to manipulate you, right? So this also works like an evil eye, meaning that when people send you negative energy, this crystal is going to take that negative energy and transmute it into positivity, or it's going to take that energy and send it back to them. Okay, so if you've been feeling like people talking ish about you or you've been feeling like you got haters or you feel like people trying to send some type of energy towards you, get black tourmaline. Click the link in my bio and click crystal shop. Is it bad to keep your crystals in the sunlight all day? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Especially you need to look up what crystals can be in the sun. Right. So this one is called black tourmaline, black tourmaline quartz. Right. So. This is lapis, okay? So, I'm about to... And I have I have every single meaning of these crystals on the website too, right? So, let me explain to you what lapis does. I have the breakdown on all the websites. And listen, a lot of y'all may be like... You see? So, look. Somebody said crystals don't do anything. Okay, cool. Let me prove that to you. Do not leave. The guy that just said crystals don't do anything. Do not leave. Just be open-minded to what I'm about to tell you, okay? So... You have you have clear quartz in your iPhone. You have clear quartz in your 
radios. You have clear quartz in your watches. You have crystals in your technology because crystals amplify energy. So it is scientifically proven that crystals actually do help us in everyday life. Right? It's scientific evidence. You know, so if you've never been proven like this, well, you know, I'm I'm not here to be like, oh, get out of here. I'm just here to enlighten you if you felt like it didn't work, okay? Crystals do have their own frequency. Crystals are even in our brain. Okay? So I'm not going to I'm not going to sit here and try to it, like shit on you or whatever. I'm just going to educate you, okay? So, that's the reason why I say this crystal is very powerful because it has clear quartz in it. Clear quartz is a natural amplifier. So my top five crystals, somebody said, what are your top five crystals? Amethyst, black tourmaline, tiger's eye, rose quartz, and clear quartz. Those are my top five, right? So let me tell you what lapis does, okay? So let me tell you what lapis does. lapis i have it on my website that's what i'm looking at i'm looking at my website to tell y'all okay so lapis is also a yes pyrite is another one but y'all asked me for my top five i love pyrite i use pyrite you know what i'm saying so but let me explain to you i'm gonna talk about the labradorite okay so and it's not bad to break your your big crystal into smaller pieces right ask so if you have a question ask it in the q and a if you have a question, ask it in the Q&A and I'm going to go. And yes, these are definitely authentic, my love. So look, Lapis helps with inner truth, inner power, love, purification, intuition, positive magic, self-confidence, manifestation, and friendship. Now, I will tell you that Lapis was a very popular crystal in ancient Egypt. This was the crystal that they made all of their jewelry out of, right? So... This is a stone of protection that may be worn against psychic attacks. This is a crystal I definitely recommend in the time that we are in because there are invisible beings that are trying to affect us. So you guys may have realized that recently you're having more intrusive thoughts than before. That's because there are negative beings trying to keep everybody at a lower frequency because they know that everybody is starting to ascend. So they're trying to hurry up and get everybody to a lower frequency before we ascend past them. Right? So this is a stone of protection to help you against psychic attacks. It helps you release stress, bringing deeper peace. And I'm telling you right now, don't be upset if you go to the crystal shop and it's sold out. I'm telling you right now. Go get the crystal before they sell out. If you know what crystal you want, go get it. Because I'm telling you right now, these people be competing in on my website trying to get the last crystals. Okay? So, it brings harmony and deep inner self-knowledge. This is lapis. Lapis lazuli. Lapis lazuli. It brings harmony and deep inner knowledge. It encourages self-awareness, allows self-expression, and reveals inner truth. It provides qualities of honesty, compassion, and morality to the personality. It assists you and confronts to speaks one truth. So this is a blue crystal, meaning that it helps you with your throat chakra. A lot of y'all are having troubles literally like, what's the word? Standing tall on your boundaries. The website is in the link in my bio, Click Crystal Shop. It's about 20, 30 people on my website right now. So I'm telling you right now to go ahead and go get it now before it sells out. That's my last time saying it. That's my last time saying it. If you don't get it, I apologize, but I, I told y'all. I told y'all, right? Okay, so the next crystal is green avatrine. Green avatrine, this is it's cold. So green avatrine. Now, the reason why I recommend green avatrine is because a lot of y'all are trying to manifest money, abundance, all these different things. Green avatrine is the crystal for abundance. If you're trying to manifest prosperity, I will speak about Tiger's Eye. If you want to manifest prosperity, abundance, this is the crystal to get. Let me also, I'm, a, I'm also um, read what I wrote down on the, on the website. Aventure. I'm going to read what I wrote. I'm going to read what I wrote. I'm going to read what I wrote. So, green avatrine. Let me tell you the benefits. So, 
this this crystal definitely helps out Aries and Leo the most but so this crystal is for creativity imagination um if the lapis is real in the what Avatrine is a stone of prosperity it reinforces leadership qualities and decisiveness promotes compassion and empathy encourages perseverance Avatrine re relieves stammers and severe neurosis it stabilizes one state of mind stimulates perception and enhances creativity aids in seeing alternative and possibilities calms anger and irritation promotes feelings of well-being Avatrine ba balances the male and female energy it encourages regeneration of the heart protects against environmental pollution so but the one thing it says definitely is career success prosperity creativity and imagination so because this crystal let me tell you i need where i where i can buy where can i buy link in the bio link in the bio click crystal shop now let me tell you how to use this crystal okay so i teach a lot about manifestation and using your imagination to manifest okay so because this crystal is a crystal of manifestation and imagination this is green avatrine what you want to do is at night you want to close your eyes you or at night right when before you're about to go to sleep you want to close your eyes hold this crystal in your hand or wear it right and you want to visualize what you want to manifest you don't even need this crystal to do this but this is an amplifier right so close your eyes and imagine what you want i'm telling you bro i'm giving i promise you like i swear i could like i just want to like hit you and like tell you like this is facts what this is green avatry i'm telling you right now and these crystals are selling out as i'm speaking right now please 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 i'm begging you 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 when you are manifesting imagine visualize up like up I'm 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 gonna stand up bro I'm a, I'm a stand up visualize what you want that is the key that is the key that is the key to visualize what you want if you can see it you can be it and that's the thing schools are trying to kill your imagination how do I get to your shop to purchase? Click the link in my bio and click Crystal Shop, right? So schools are purposefully trying to kill your creativity. And because you cannot have no creativity because they're killing it, you can't manifest. The whole point of life is to create because you are a creator. You are the creator. So if you are not creating, you're not manifesting. You're not manifesting, so you have to, bro, you great prices, right? I'm telling you. So you have to visualize. That is the key. That is the key. Visualize. 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 Visualize what you want. Visualize what you want. That's the key, y'all. I promise you, every single thing in my life that I've manifested has came because I've visualized it because I visualized it. So what are crystals to use to manifest? I got moonstone. Can anyone else imagine anything in great detail? I don't know. Yes, you gotta be able to manifest it in great detail. And here, here's a tip, right? Jesus does teach this, right? That's the thing. The, the, the people of Christianity always wanna attack me, but what y'all not understand it is the same things that I'm saying is the same thing that's in the Bible. It's just because I'm saying it in a different way, you're thinking that I'm preaching something else. You know, so listen, if you want a crystal to help you manifest, I will add carnelian. The last time I had carnelian, y'all sold it out. Crystals are not witchcraft. Crystals are not witchcraft, right? So crystals that you need to help you manifest, right? Get pyrite. You can get moonstone, get moonstone and green avatarine. Pyrite, moonstone, green avatarine are the three crystals that I have on my shop that are for manifesting, right? But one crystal that I do use every time is pyrite. I manifest with pyrite. Cool, okay? So, we're gonna talk about tiger's eye. So, tiger's eye. Why is tiger's eye important, right? And I'm pretty sure this is already sold out. I apologize, because I'm pretty sure this is already sold out. But I do have regular, regular tiger's eye that is not wire wrap. So, the reason why tiger's eye is important and why i well, what i would use tiger's eye is okay so 
Tiger's eye is a great crystal for concentration. It's a great crystal for grounding yourself. It's a great crystal to help you focus. So look, a lot of y'all have school coming back, right? I keep Tiger's eye on my desk. The reason why is because when I have Tiger's eye around me, I'm able to keep a focused mind. So if people who got ADHD, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Maybe Tiger's eye could really help you. I'm going to read to you what it, like, I'm going to read to you the exact definition that I have on my website. Tiger's eye. I'm about to put y'all on. And make sure y'all go ahead. Oh, I still got it. And make sure y'all go ahead and check out my Patreon and make sure y'all subscribe to me on YouTube because my YouTube is where I post real long forms of, con of content and I post all of these videos on my YouTube. And yes, I do have Tiger Design on my website. Click the link in my bio to get Tiger's Eye. So let me tell you what it does, okay? So Tiger's Eye um, is basically, it brings insight into complex situations. It protects you from negative energy. It helps you focus the mind. It attracts good luck. It helps you deepen your meditative state. It's a grounding and centering personal energy. So it means it can help you ground, ground right? It helps to dispel fear and it promotes mental clarity, right? So make sure y'all put an evil eye in the comment. Put evil eyes in the comment. Put evil eyes in the comment. Put the emoji, right? So the way that I use crystals is I meditate with them. I meditate with them because you got to understand that when you meditate, you ever meditated and felt yourself buzzing? Have you ever meditated and felt yourself buzzing, right? The reason why you're feeling yourself buzzing is because you have become so aware of the energy around you that you can feel it now only because you're aware because you're aware right so because you're aware you're feeling the energy now when you are in these meditative states you're able to take in more energy right so when you meditate with these crystals you're able to take the energy from these crystals but you have to make sure that you cleanse them first this is why i have on my website that if you order something you can get selenite for a cheaper price Right, because selenite is a is a crystal that cleanses, but you don't need selenite to cleanse your crystals. Though, you can also use sage, palo santo. You can also use um, you can also use um, the sun. The the website is in the link in my bio. Click crystal shop if you want to go to my website for the crystals. Okay, so this is a good luck crystal. This is also a crystal to help you focus. This would be beautiful for Taurus. For Taurus, would be beautiful for Aries, especially people who lack focus. This is a great crystal for you, okay? So, Amazonite. <clears throat> this is the last crystal that I'm going to talk about, right? This is the last crystal I'm going to talk about. We're going to talk about Amazonite. And this is, a, this is a beautiful blue crystal. So, listen, one thing I will teach you too is, so certain crystals, the color, yeah, I'm not going to, listen, listen, also I want to remind you that you don't need crystals. They help. You don't need crystals, but they help. You know what I'm saying? I restock every week. I apologize. I know they're selling out. I'm, I, I apologize. I do. I don't know. I'm trying my hardest. The website is in the link in my bio. Click crystal shop. Okay. So they said that this crystal is good for Virgos, but understand that these crystals can be used for anybody. But one thing it does said is this is for Virgos. This is for Virgos. It says that this works very well for Virgos, right? So, but look. This is Amazonite. Being a throat chakra stone, Amazonite also invites you to test out crystal clear communication and to practice putting beautifully healthy boundaries in place. So if you are somebody who is a little too nice for your own good, get this crystal. It will help you literally put your boundaries and understand that um, you know, if, if, this, if this is sold out, I have it without it being wire wrapped, okay? So look, it invites you to move out from fear of the shadow of judgment and to step into the light. So a lot of you guys are always worrying about what people are thinking about you. This crystal is going to help. It's going to give you that energy. It's not going to it's not going to solve your problems. This is called Amazonite. This is called Amazonite. It's not going to solve your problems. It's only going to help you help yourself hear that 
It's not going to solve your problems. It's only going to help you unless you want to help yourself. Meaning that until you say, you know what? I'm going to start being stronger with my boundaries. And then you put it on. All it does is aid what you already are trying to do. Write that down. Write that down. You funny. Okay. So whatever expectations others place upon you are nowhere near as important as the truth of your own heart. By tapping into both intellect and intuition, Amazonite is able to bring better clarity and authenticity to the soul. When we become comfortable in our skin and connected to our truest self, this invites us to take a spiritual leap and to open our minds and hearts to infinite possibility. Right? Trust me, I am not lying. You talk about some, I am not lying, bruh. I am not lying. One thing I stand on, look up, look up the Egyptian goddess Ma'at. Look up the Egyptian goddess Ma'at. Ma'at is truth, is justice, is fairness. That's what I rely on. That's what I work on. The reason why I'm blessed is because I'm authentic, because I'm real, because I'm love, right? Because I don't, I don't lie. Because guess what? If I lie, I'm lying to myself right i wear my own crystals you know what i'm saying so i'm not lying and i put i put i put my life on that i put my life on that yo i'm not here to fool nobody i'm not here to fool nobody bro i've been fooled enough and i'm tired of being fooled all right period i love y'all y'all don't understand that y'all have been better friends to me than the friends that i've had Okay, so trust me and you're going to make me emotional, Loki. You're, you're, you're going to make me emotional because I don't think y'all understand what y'all do for me. Y'all give me y'all. Y'all give me home. Y'all give me a family. Y'all give me people that I can come to and feel like whatever I'm into. Y'all not going to clown me for it. Y'all not going to sit here and be like, like this what you into. Nah, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not for the do the people dirty. That's helping me. I'm not for the do the people dirty that actually accept me. You feel me? So I'm not going to hurt you. And I and I know you probably been hurt before. I know y'all going y'all going to make me emotional. For real, for real, for real. It's been a it's been a tough week for me. I know y'all probably been lied to. I know y'all probably y'all going to make me cry, bro. I know y'all probably been lied to. I know you probably don't trust people. I know. I know, but this is why I'm here. This is why I'm trying to do what I'm doing, bro, because Y'all don't understand, bro. The more spiritual you get, bro, the less people that you can trust. And all I'm trying to do is create a community of people that is like, okay, cool. We all accept each other. We all appreciate each other. We all understand that. Okay, you spiritual. Okay, cool. I, It's okay. You know what I'm saying? So, like, understand, man. Like, I know what it's like to, to not fit in. I know what it's like to not fit in. I do. I do. I know what it's like to not fit in. Okay, so join my Discord. Please join the Discord. DM me and click the link for the Discord because it's a group chat that we have and it's my family. I call them my family for real. I call them my family for real. I've met some amazing people, some amazing people from my Discord that I've started talking to on the phone and stuff like that. You know, so like for real, like we 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 are all family, bro. And I want y'all to join. So please, like, if you, okay, if you are in my Discord, if you are in my Discord, can you please send the link in the chat so they can join? Also, if you don't get the link, just DM me on Instagram or on TikTok and I will send you the link. Trust me. It's free. You don't got to do nothing. It's free. It's free. The Discord is free. I just want y'all to join so we can talk, so we can be friends, so we could, you know what I'm saying? You know, so... Let me finish with this last crystal and then we can continue talking, okay? So, Amazonite as a zodiac birthstone. As a birthstone, Amazonite is ruled by Uranus and linked to Virgo. Those who have Virgo as their star, star sign or have Virgo placements are commonly hardworking, reliable, patient, and kind, but can tend to be a little on the shy side and veer into overthinking their every move, which in turn can lead to layers of self-doubt that need to be slawed away. Virgos are known for having a harsh inner judge, and while they bring their gentle touch to their relationship with others, they are for sure their own worst enemy and find it tricky to live up to those 
impossible standards. Being a stone that encourages kindness and seedling growth and self-respect, Amazonite helps to bring out that much needed balance. So if you find yourself having negative self-talk, this is a great crystal too. Okay. So, um, I also want to let y'all know that I am, um, releasing a very spiritual song soon. And this song is my revolutionary song that I have coming out. And I want to play it for y'all real quick because I want y'all to see what I'm about. And I want y'all to see what I'm really, what I'm really trying to do. Okay. What's the name again? This, this is called Amazonite. This is called Amazonite. Click the link in my bio, click Crystal Shop, okay? So this song that I'm about to play for you is called Remind Yourself. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this, right, is because I'm in this song, my intention is to remind you to wake up, to remind you that you're light, to remind you that you're wise. So the, everybody is trying to, everybody, yeah, wait, who who is... Okay, so the song is literally meant to help you remind yourself, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm wise, I'm this, I'm that, okay? So listen to the song because the song is filled with positive energies, okay? Listen to it and listen to what I'm saying. Everything that I do is to help us, to help us, okay? So listen to this. This song is dropping September 1st. This song is dropping September 1st. <laughs> sorry if i'm emotional y'all man i'm sorry if i'm emotional y'all don't y'all don't understand what what sticks is going through y'all don't understand but sticks is fighting sticks is fighting and sticks is not gonna lose sticks is not gonna lose like i don't care if i gotta do this by myself i'm gonna wake the world up bro i don't care if i gotta do this by myself i'm gonna wake the world up and i'm gonna keep preaching and i'm gonna keep manifesting and i'm gonna keep going hard because bro this don't make no sense like i'm tired of seeing my people depressed because of the, the prison systems that they put around them. I'm not going, I'm not going, I'm not going, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop, bro. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. I've given myself to the light. And until I see people really giving themselves to the light, I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. And even then, let me show y'all because this is, this is the, this is the cover art for it. This is the cover art for it. Egyptians, pyramids. Like, this is the cover art for it. And it's dropping soon, y'all. September 1st. September 1st. September 1st. I love y'all so much. And I'm going to keep going hard. I'm going to keep going hard, especially for y'all, because y'all are what's keeping me here. Y'all are what's keeping me here. I'm going to play y'all one more song. I'm going to play y'all one more song. And this song, if you ever heard of Kiera Love, this song is with Kiera Love. <laughs> Emo son, trust me. Hey, 
I love you, emo son. You always here, emo son. I love you, emo son. You always here. I appreciate that. in the song i'm literally saying opening my eye amazed i'm going to a higher plane manifest the light this way come on man it's going it's a i'm i'm, I'm gonna create a new level of music next thing you know you're gonna hear a whole bunch of people talking about spirituality in their songs in a way that it's like you didn't even know they were talking about spirituality Spiritual music nowadays is so like, it's almost like gospel. It's like gospel. And it's like, it makes you feel like, oh, okay, we're, we're giving praise right now. Instead of giving you a spiritual song that just feels like a vibe, you know? So it's like, I'm, 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 I'm working on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on it and I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep going, y'all. I'm going to keep going and I love y'all. I appreciate y'all support. Make sure y'all go ahead, join the Patreon. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and subscribe to me on YouTube. I love y'all so much. Janae definitely is on that vibe. I love Janae. I'm going to make a song with Janae. You know what I'm saying? So I love y'all and I'm out. I love y'all for the support. Make sure y'all check out the Crystal Shop and I'm out. DM me for the Discord link. 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 Join the Patreon. Join the Patreon. Join the Patreon. Join the Patreon. Check out the Crystal Shop. I love y'all.